Man, what an exciting fight so far. This is for the title, ladies and gentlemen, and this is how the fight should be going. Jenny Yu comes back and answers strong in the second round. You gotta give that round to her, right? Yeah, I think so. You know, she, she established mount position, which definitely scores points. Even if she wasn't able to get a lot of punches there, she did establish that mount position. Very, very close with the arm bar there, was, was making Stephanie yeah, defend throughout. Uh, I've got this thing tied up going into round three. Yeah, I, what, a, what a fight here. And that flexibility of Stephanie Egging is what was really impressive. I mean, to be in such a bad position and be able to get out of it by popping out of the back door like that, using your flexibility, she ended up getting in another very compromised position later in the round. But nonetheless, Stephanie Egging is showing the heart of a champion. Question is, will she actually walk away the champion tonight? One of these ladies walking out of here with the 125-pound women's title from Tough Enough. And neither, this is our last round. I was gonna say neither fighter looks fatigued at all. No, great conditioning on part of uh, on the part of both of these ladies. Both of them look very prepared for this fight. Glad to see they both took it very seriously, getting ready for this one. You still see a show of respect. Stephanie Egan there opening up with that boxing. Nice Could John story. Morgan's philosophy be coming true? She wanted to wait till the third where there was a little bit of fatigue to start throwing those punches and open it up with those hands. Nice flurry by, uh, uh, you know, it's an excellent strategy if that's what she was planning. I don't think she wants to go to the ground. As good as her defense was in the second round on the ground, I don't think she wants to go there if she can avoid it. I think she needs to take advantage of the striking. Now Yoon closes the distance. They move into an over-under. And Yoon goes for the takedown, gets it. Eggie up in the full guard. Tried to slide out to the back, but just couldn't do it. And Humes is going to take top position. A lot of time left here. And Egging was very comfortable on her back in, in both rounds, but I don't think she wants to be here. I, you know, if, if I'm her corner, I'm yelling at her to, to break this hole, get up at all costs. She looked really, really crisp on the feet there in the opening seconds. And these ladies have some extra time. These are three three minute rounds. There is a title on the line. That seven fight experience might pay off for Jenny here. That's a good point, Chris, when you get into these later rounds, especially when you've got more time on the clock, knowing how to pace yourself and get to where you want to go, even if it is a judge's decision, really critical. Can be hard to learn. Yume has the right leg around the neck, but she's at a bad angle with the left. It's going to be tough to get an arm or a triangle or anything from that position. Yume doing a good job of defending. If anything, Egging might want to try to post to her right hip and see if she can slide out to the side. She's got control of the wrist. Maybe she might try a, a Kimura from that angle. Be a little tough, but it's an option. It does look like she's going to try to shrimp out and maybe get back to her feet. you doing a good job of keeping the pressure on. Less than 60 seconds left on the clock in this title fight here at Tough Enough. Jenny Hume is on the top right now wearing the black and the white. Stephanie Egink is in the red and the black. She's on the bottom. And Stephanie Egink has got to get something going here in these final 45 seconds of this third round, or Jenny Hume could walk away stealing this fight. Yeah, Hume did a great job of sliding out to side control. You see Egink trying to move those legs up, maybe search for some kind of an inverted triangle, maybe secure an arm, something. But it just doesn't seem to be there. I really think she should try to get back to her feet. Right now, Yoon has nothing but the control. 20 seconds left. I think a big flurry here could still win this fight. She's got to go, though. Even Just, if you jump into the guard, get down there, throw some punches. 10 seconds left. Stephanie Egging looks like she's thinking about it now. Jenny Yu doing a nice job defending, though. Title is on the line. These are the final moments. How smart is that for you? Yeah, did a great job there with the defense in the final seconds. Didn't give Stephanie Egging an opportunity to jump on her and possibly steal the fight back away from Jenny Yu. Great opening round for Stephanie Egging, but you've got to think that rounds two and three probably went to Jenny Yu. Yeah, you really do. And, and Egging ended up in a good position. You know, she's standing, she's throwing those kicks, but I just don't think she opened up enough in those closing seconds. I think she waited a little bit too long to get to that position. And once she got there, she was a little too tentative. I think Yoon did a great job by riding out the position. And I think she's going to end up taking this round just by the virtue that she was in top for so long in that final frame. And I think when Stephanie Egging looks back on this fight, she's going to regret that she didn't go a little bit harder in those final seconds, get back to the feet where she was so dominant in the early game. Going. 
It's going to be interesting. I, again, who knows what the judges are thinking. Maybe they see those strikes at the end as, as the most significant offense in the round. But uh, I, I think Yoon pulled the veteran move and, and, and rode out the final frame. And Yoon seems like she has a hint that she may have won the fight. She's got a smile across her face right now. Stephanie doesn't look too pleased, but it's time to find out who won the title tonight here at the Tough Enough Fighting Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds in this final bout, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision for the winner. And now she is the new 125 pound Tough Enough champion in the blue corner, Jenny!